Okay, so <laughs> I've been following this video all day today on Twitter. It's been driving me crazy because it's just as you would expect. And the Democrat Party media is just basically whipping up this shitstorm over these two lawful gun owners who are clearly just defending their home from what looks and sounds like violent mobs that have been rampaging across the country for the last three weeks. So, you know, it's not that hard to understand why these people might be out there uh, with their weapons as this mob descends on their home. So, and beyond that, uh, these people that the media is now going after and they're treating them like they're racist nutcases, um, they were well within their rights to defend their home. Uh, especially after, you know, everybody's seen these videos of these protesters, the rioters and looters, you know, I don't know how to differentiate them, honestly. But everybody saw these videos and these uh, and these leaders from these groups saying, oh, we're coming to the suburbs next. Be ready, we're coming to the suburbs. And that's not a new threat either. I mean, we've heard that threat uh, in the past with past uh, protests after uh, black people have been shot by police, whether it was legitimate or not. And these were just peaceful protesters. I mean, even if they were peaceful, their initial actions weren't peaceful, busting through the gate. And we got video of that as well, which I'll put up here in just a second. But first, just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from my subscribers. What will your savings in retirement look like once we've declared victory over the virus? Many Americans use this little known IRS qualified loophole that allows Americans to buy gold and silver with their retirement accounts. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention Drone Tech Politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders must be over 40 to qualify call 866-915-5053 and get your free investment guide today so let's take a look at this video here real quick and then um, I want to talk a little bit about the media responses and I'm sure tonight uh, there's no doubt they're gonna be going after these people apparently they're lawyers uh, in st. Louis and so uh, let's just check this out real quick this is one of the videos there's several videos Probably be moving. Why are they still provoking these people? I don't understand. Not not the homeowners, this mob. They should be moving on. It's like, let's get out of here. Instead, <laughs> look, they're, look they're, they're provoking them at their on their own property. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So, according to the Breitbart article here, the homeowner told KMOV4 that he came out armed because the protesters allegedly burst through a historic gate on the way to his property. He said a mob of at least 100 smashed through the historic wrought iron gates of Portland Place, destroying them, rushed towards my home where my family was having dinner outside and put us in fear of our lives. Yeah, I think I would probably feel the exact same way. But the media doesn't, of course. Of course not, because gun owners are bad. Okay, so we saw the other video. This is them actually coming through the gate. This is after they already bust through the gate, right there. They've already you know, unlocked it. And there's a sign right there that says this is private property. These people don't care. All right, y'all see he got a gun and shit. And y'all can see. <laughs> yeah, I... A giant mob burst through the gates of a private gated community. With drums and chanting, like, uh, I'd be a little nervous too, especially after, like I said, everything that we've seen. Okay, so we've seen that. That's pretty much it. Uh, let's take a look at some of the media reactions now, which I promise you are utterly ridiculous. I mean, there are reasons to criticize these people, although the guy's not really pointing it. He's holding it. I, I would probably do a little differently. But, I mean, in the heat of the moment, if he's outside eating and this happens, what do you do? And uh, I don't think you can blame these people. I, I think the tactics of BLM and, and what the media is letting them get away with is atrocious, and it's actually going to hurt their move in, in the long run. So let's check out what the media said in response. So here we have ABC News. A couple pointed guns at protesters in St. Louis as a group marched toward the mayor's home to demand her resignation. 
Well, that's all well and good. And, that, and as far as, you know, that might just be an after the fact story. Maybe that is what they went for. But as far as I know, protests require permits. You got to get a permit to have a protest. You can't just burst onto people's property into a private neighborhood and protest. That's illegal. Uh, any other group doing that would be arrested and charged for trespassing at the minimum. Or how about Keith Boykin here from CNN? Donald Trump this morning proudly retweeted the video of Ken and Karen, which are essentially racial slurs for white people at this point, pointing their guns at black people in St. Louis. Trump never misses an opportunity to fan the flames of white resentment and racial unrest. He's projecting. That's what he's doing. And guess what? It wasn't just black people out there. There were lots of white people too. And like I said, I, I went and pointed the guns. I think they initially did that as the crowd, uh, especially guys with cameras, kind of descended on them eventually they stopped doing it but like I, I wouldn't have done that myself but uh, I don't think that's any re reason to attack these people uh, they were at their home and it was this protest so-called protest that was actually illegal Okay, so how about Reuters here, a uh, supposedly objective news source? A couple was seen barefoot and brandishing firearms on protesters as they entered their neighborhood during a protest against the St. Louis mayor. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, it wasn't a protest. It wasn't a legal protest. It was a private neighborhood, and none of these facts are in the headline. Maybe if you read the story, they're there. I don't know. I'm not going to do it right now, but that's the way a lot of these news organizations operate. It's all, you know, you read the headline, most people just keep going. Oh, here. CBS News, white couple aims guns at St. Louis pro... What does the fact that they're white mean? If it was, What if it was black homeowners that had done it? Would they mention the fact that it, they were black? Not likely. I don't think they would. Um, and what was this guy up here just saying from CNN? That uh, it's uh, Trump that's fanning the flames of racial resentment. Uh, it's clearly the media doing that and members of the media. And of course, these people have become targets. As you can see, um, all the left-wing groups are going to start targeting these people. <laughs> and it's just too bad. Uh, something may even happen to them. Who knows? But uh, it will be the media's fault. And this kind of thing is only going to spread, okay? Uh, the media's backing the mob, and you have scared people who have nobody looking out for them. The Republicans sure aren't doing anything or uh, going out and to defend these people. So they're on their own, uh, no doubt. No, no reason for them not to be armed and uh, uh, feeling threatened at this point. So, guys, uh, go ahead and check that uh, video out for yourself. Um, watch the news tonight. I guarantee you, I guarantee you the media is just going to be demonizing and inciting, essentially inciting violence against these people. Just going down the Twitter feed here, you can see, I mean, you know, the Hill, Trump shares video of white couple pointing guns at protesters. Like, again, what's the what's the fact that they're white have to do with anything? I, I really don't get it. It's not just the left-wing lunatics threatening these people at this point. The president of the uh, leftist D.C. think tank attacks St. Louis homeowners, says he would beat their brains in. Check this out. Jerry Taylor, he's the president and co-founder of this uh, D.C. Uh, DNC think tank. And uh, he said, if I were in that march and these racist lunatics were waving their guns at me, what evidence do you have that they're racist at all? Their skin color? That appears to be it because the media keeps making a point of that. So I guess they're white. That means they're racist. Even though it was just a mob of people. I don't think they cared what skin color those people were. <clears throat> but if those racist lunatics were waving guns at me, I'd like to think I'd rush them and beat their brains in. And I wouldn't apologize it for one goddamn second. My God, what is happening here? These people, I, you know, I don't, they're going to, they're going to make a big mistake here at some point and they're going to awaken a sleeping dragon. Like, I don't think they understand what the backlash is going to be, but if they continue this and they continue to escalate, uh, I don't see it ending well.